Hey guys, this is um, just going to be a real, real quick video because I um, literally have to jump out the door. It's like 8.30 in the morning and um, I start work soon. So this is just like, uh, well basically this is going to be part three of my building just work in progress. But like literally it's going to be a couple of minutes long, probably not even that. We'll see what, how long this takes me. Um, I've kind of rushed ahead a bit and absolutely just gap completely gap getting the camera out so from when you last saw from part two a lot has been done like for example this is one of my bale predators while wow, it really shines against the white it honestly looks better if i put it there yeah it's really booming the red i don't know why it's going out like that but it's just just kind of got the um, blood red base coat on and Need to go around and pick out all the black areas and touch it up. There's so that's that. Um, one of the guns for the side. That's not actually going to go in this one, but I was. I'm just kind of. This is like my to do area. Sponge rock up there. <laughs> anyway, so if we just pan down to the right, we'll see what we've got down here. This is kind of, like I said, I rushed ahead and this vindicate is finished. It's just waiting some decals, some uh, transfers, a little mural on the side there, painted up. Uh, yeah, I actually realised after I'd painted it, and I should have realised this a lot sooner, but if anyone can try and guess what's missing from this vindicator, yeah, that's right. I didn't glue the storm bolter on, so. Um, not that it really matters, because I. I can't really see myself firing it that much, but it, a little tip can always help. Like, if you've got spare points anywhere, try and get storm bolters for your tanks. Because, obviously, you know, weapon destroyed results can stack. And if you've got no more weapons left, yeah, it's mobilized. So, um, you know, that can always help you stay, uh, stay away from that, getting immobilized from a weapon destroyed result. So, uh, I need to... Sort that out by sticking um sticking a storm bolt around. I'll figure some out. And this is one of my finished bell predators. Like I said, it just needs the um sponsons on the side, and that's what this other sponson is going to go on this one. But uh, obviously, I don't really have time to paint them today. They'll get done tomorrow. I've got two of them waiting. The other ones over here. Let's do the heavy bolt sponson. So um that's kind of what I rushed ahead and got done. Like I said, I was literally completely forgot to get my camera out. I painted that thing on the front there. And, and uh, I actually remembered the storm bolter on the two bale predators, which is which is good. Uh, I stuck the turret down. I was thinking about leaving it so I could twist it. You know, but um, I've done that with my Eldar tanks and the amount of damage that you, they tend to take, like paint chipping off and... The guns breaking off. I kind of thought it's it's not worth it because I kind of want my Blood Angels army to be like my Piesta Resistance, if if you will. So uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of taking my time making it all come out neat. This camera really doesn't do it justice. I'm actually quite proud of the way the red came out. It's actually a really nice coat of red. The camera you can't really tell on the camera. I think maybe it's the bad lighting or something. Cause it's quite shiny. But uh, yeah, the, the coat of red has come out really, really nice. And I've had uh, quite a lot of bad experiences painting with um, with red. So I'm actually quite pleased at how they look at the moment. And uh, tomorrow I've got kind of half a day off. Yeah, and all morning and part of the afternoon. So what I will be doing is that will be finished by about 2 o'clock tomorrow. Today's Thursday. So by Friday, 2 o'clock Friday. That should be done. That'll be completely finished with the sponsons in the side. And then, I'm going to make a start on these things. They're not actually going to be assault marines. I'm just doing them without jump packs to make the death company. I think I said, said that in my, my first video. But these will be out, built. And I'll probably get them primed. I wouldn't say I'd get them painted. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to try something different. When I've painted black models before like I had a very small black templar army for a while and then got rid of it and what I found was 
priming it in black, they tend to look too, too, like, two dimensional is kind of the word I'm looking for there. And uh, what I want is more, you know, 3D effects, I want to look more lifelike. So what I'm going to try and do is, I'm going to have one spare anyway, because I'm only having a squad of nine in my list. So I might make that one guy a tester model. I'm going to try priming him in white and then black. Try and give it more of a grey chalky effect maybe. And then I might dry brush some grey over the top anyway. Just to give it that 3D effect. More lifelike on the tabletop. You know, pick out all the... You know, give my um, red shoulder pad and stuff. Just Blood Angels um, iconography. And decals, etc, etc. So, uh, yeah, that's tomorrow's project. So hopefully... By tomorrow, my three vehicles will definitely be finished. I know I can get them done tomorrow quite easily. But it just depends on how far I get with these guys. But uh, I will be sure to do a video tomorrow to let you know how that's all gone. And uh, I'm going to have to bounce. So, um, yeah, more to come, guys. And I hope you're enjoying this series of videos.